this is Carla Purdy and I'm here at 12800 Percival Street in Chester, Virginia. And as you can see from the outside of this house, we've already started doing the renovation and it still needs you know some work however from the last time you guys were here we cut down a lot of trees this house had a huge amount of trees and the landscaping on this house is the budget is, is, is nice size but we cut down a lot of trees here we cut down all of the bushes um, took off the railing on the front step and what's going on is we've ordered windows so you'll have all new windows what we're trying to do is get the outside of the house looking right uh, we have listed this property already trying to get it pre-sold so hopefully that'll work out for us and when we finish this property should be sold uh, but the main focus is, you know, we're going to power wash. We have the landscaping guy, our tree guy, going around cutting down the trees and the bushes. Um, so the guys are going to be working on the outside, the exterior of this house this week, um, doing power washing. Um, I'm not for sure if the windows will be in this week or next week, but we'll have all new windows, gutters, everything to try to get this house pre-sold. So what I like to do is take you in the inside and just show you where we're at in the construction progress. So follow me into the inside of 12800 Percival. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen of 12800 Percival. And what has happened here is the roughing in stage has taken place. So the electrical has roughed in, um, the HVAC has roughed in, and the plumbing has been roughed in. So if you see up top, we have the pot lights and you got all kinds of little holes popping out of the wall. That's actually where the electrical has went in and did his thing. Um, what we're gonna do here in the kitchen, if you see right in front of me, we have hard wood on the floor. So we're gonna take this flooring up here and we're basically gonna make this whole area hardwood. Then we're gonna sand it and refinish it. Because we've opened up this wall, I think it's just something to just have hardwood throughout that whole front area. So unlike other properties that we've done, we typically gather hardwood from um, other locations. Well, this time we just went out and bought some more wood and um, just gonna put it down. So follow me, I'm gonna take you through a couple more spots in the house. I'm here in the hall bathroom of a person and basically what's going on here is it's completely dimmed so the last time we were here it was I can't remember if it was pink or green but it was a funky color so we're here it's empty uh, what's going to happen next all of the inspections have been passed so what's going to happen next are we, we are going to um, insulate these walls any of the exterior walls that are open and because there's not a lot of room foam insulation in all of our exterior walls so once that foam insulation is in and we pass that insulation inspection then we're going to go right on into um, drywalling and as you all know that is really downhill from here I want you to just kind of if you can look to my left here you're gonna see that that's actually the master bathroom on the other side and one of the things with that master bath, if you look up, we put that rain shower in the inside of that master bath. Um, so it's going to be, it's a small bathroom, but it's definitely going to be a nice bathroom. We're going to make it as nice as possible for what we were working with. Okay, so one more thing I want to show you before I let you go. In this area here, we framed in the... Um, HVAC system, the water heater system, all that's kind of framed in. And the guys actually built me this awesome bench seating. So I'm super excited about that because this is going to be like the mud room area. And we really had to create this to hide the uh, ductwork that's running around. So in this area, it's actually going to be the mud room, the laundry room, and the half a bathroom. So it's going to be really nice. You can't really tell what you see right now, but it, it will be nice. Okay, so I'm in the family room of Percival, and what we've done here is what we typically do on 
all of our properties that have a fireplace is we install the electrical uh, and the TV, the cable outlet here. Um, so we bring that brick in here, um, but we've left the brick exposed at the bottom. So next time you come, that brick will probably be drywalled up and it's for a TV. So if you take a look around this area, um, your exterior walls are, again, are very, uh, they're small, they're really thin, so you can't put just regular insulation in there. Um, so again, foam insulation will go in between all of this before we, uh, before we drywall it up. Okay, so I'm standing in the backyard of 12800 Percival, and what's going on in this area here is the guys are putting a uh, a deck on the back of this this house. So to give you some type of entertainment space, it is going on here. And if you look to my left, you see the framing or the base of the deck where they've already started uh, building. So <clears throat> it, it's it's gonna be a nice deck off the back and if you remember what was here before it was just a little stoop so now you have an entertainment space to actually come off of your kitchen um, and take a look around this backyard and probably get fenced in uh, with a privacy fence um, but it is a really huge backyard and a lot of trees we've cut down a lot of trees um, but it's still a nice um, a lot of nice trees so it's, it's really gonna be a nice house and I'm excited about it. And I hope you are too. Okay guys, so I took you around. I showed you the progress on 12800 Percival. Um, if you know our Purdy product, you know that's exactly what it's gonna be, a Purdy product. We don't take shortcuts. Um, this house is gonna be really nice when it's finished. It's in a great area. And if you're looking to buy in the Chester area, give us a call at 804-446-46. 6-3. See you next time.